Do I need all these partitions? I got this question just a week ago, and it's a question that's come up a lot since Windows 10 came out. If you take a look at your system, if you take a look at the partitions on your hard disk, where we used to find one, we now find as many as five. As a result, the question, do I need all these partitions? Newer machines often come with multiple partitions. While it's tempting to remove them, there's little to be gained. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is AskLeo.com. Question, is it possible to remove some of the recovery partitions from my SSD laptop? I think some of these partitions are not needed, but I don't know which ones. If they can be deleted, how would I add that space to my C drive? The short answer is yes, but no. Yes, you can delete the partitions, but no, I would not advise it. As you say, you don't know what the partitions are, so you don't know whether or not they're needed. It would be a shame to delete one and find out later that it was a serious mistake. However, if you feel the need, I have one approach to doing it more or less safely. Why so many partitions? Newer machines frequently come with Windows 10 installed and the primary hard disk partitioned into as many as five separate partitions. This leaves many people asking, why? Why all those partitions when a single partition did the job in the past? It's the result of several changes over the years, including UEFI, the disappearance of installation media, and more. What are those partitions? Using one of my machines, an original Microsoft Surface tablet, as an example, we see the following partitions. A recovery partition, 600 megabytes. EFI system, 200 megabytes. C colon, 110 gigabytes. A recovery partition of 450 megabytes and a recovery partition of 7.8 gigabytes. The EFI partition is required by UEFI G GPT formatted hard drives. It's what the machine boots into when first started. Confusingly, this is often referred to as the system partition, even though it's not the system you and I might think of. The C partition is obvious. That's the hard disk you see and use when you're running Windows. This is what I tend to think of as the system partition or drive, since it contains my system, Windows, as well as all my applications and data. It's by far the largest partition on the drive. With the three recovery partitions are more of a conundrum. I theorize that the larger one at 7.81 gigabytes contains a pristine copy of Windows 10 and takes the place of physical installation media. The other two I suspect are recovery consoles containing the recovery environment, tools, and recovery options. I also suspect that the recovery partitions are extremely manufacturer dependent. What I see on my machine will be different than what you see on yours. Even the content of these partitions varies dramatically based on the decisions made by your computer's manufacturer. My advice, leave well enough alone. If you want to remove partitions, it's important to realize that you're trading off the reasons for the layout, whatever those reasons were, for a small increase in disk space. My example machine above is already fairly old with a comparatively small hard disk. Even if I did delete all the partitions other than the required EFI partition and C partition, I'd be recovering only 8.5 gigabytes at best, an increase of less than 8%. Given that today's hard drives are larger while the sizes of the reserved partitions haven't increased proportionately, you're likely to get even less of a percentage increase. In my mind, it just isn't worth it. I'd much prefer to have the recovery options available to me should I ever need them. If you must, create a safety net. There is one way to do this safely, of course. Start with a complete image backup of the hard drive. Make sure that all partitions are included. Save that backup somewhere. If you're backing up regularly as you should be, you may already have this. If you're at all uncertain, make another backup. Then delete the partitions. If you're going this far, I'd be tempted to delete all the recovery partitions with the knowledge that should your system need recovery, you'll need to do it some other way. Typically, that means booting from a manufacturer supplied recovery disk, system disk, or USB stick, or restoring the backed up system from the previous step to perform a recovery. Merging the freed up space can be as simple as using Windows own built-in disk manager 
or it may require a partition management tool to combine the freed up space. For links related to this article or to leave a comment, visit askleo.com slash 40562. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.